as Wiseman Christopher lives in the midst of the congregation at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. God Almighty uses him to expose the darkness in the lives of the people. As Wiseman Christopher touches this man, the lightning of God flows through him and dispels every shade of darkness in his life. Remember, when the power of God is present, healing, deliverance and all of God's blessings are just like breathing. Speak out. Why did you decide to disturb me? Am I the only person? Eh? Eh? Am I the only person? Where is it that every time you people will be just disturbing the peace of people here and there? Eh? Don't you know that we are there? That is always making this man as if he's strong. I am the ancestral idol. And the marine spirit, the marine wife is also there. Uh, and then we are the people that causes hatred on him. You like to use what I give to him. I'm going to enjoy sleeping in the hotel, eating, carrying women, drinking. Eh? You come to the village, you show as if it's the all and all. Other time we will go and start to pray fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. I showed him now. How did you show him? Yes. As you have seen him, I have reduced him, reduced him, reduced him to the grassroots. Yes. I have destroyed his career. In fact, this young man, if I allow him, would have traveled outside this country. Go to school, finish his university. I was telling him, don't go, don't go, don't go. Two weeks to the exam, I make him to lost inside the water. I wanted to marry him and keep him there, keep him there inside, inside, because there's covenant. You we said that you kept him inside the water. How did you do it? Whenever he plays inside the water, I hold him down. We stay inside the water. One hour, 20 minutes, we are discussing, putting our house together first. What do you normally discuss with him inside the water? There's agreement. What kind of agreement? The agreement is, I will make you to get rich. After some time, you have to return everything to me and start afresh until the seventh time you come back, by which time I have built the house, I've built the empire, the coast inside the water, so that you come and live there with me. What do you mean I, by he will come back? You mean he will I live? I will kill him. Kill him. You will do what? I will kill him, so that he will come and stay with me. Yes. What have you done to his marriage? I, his marriage. The first one he married. I stop and make her not to born for him. I was making him to drink, drink enough or drink beer, everything. I make him to buy car, buy car, buy car, buy car, buy car. Three. I make him to build us when he was very small. I have make him to buy even flyboat when he was small. Listen to me and All the time he refused to know me. Listen and answer. What have you done to this marriage? Who is this woman standing next to you? I don't know how. Madam, you are very know. welcome. Who is this man to you? He's my husband. Who are these children to you? My children, they are big. Where are they? They are bigger than me. Where are they? They are somewhere there. Where? In the Atlantic. Atlantic what? In the Atlantic Ocean. What about these ones? She knows where she brings them. Who is this man to you? He's my dad. He said you are the dad. Yeah. It's okay. I don't know him. Don't know him. He's a deacon in the church. A elder. 
And what you do is always to. How did you enter this man? I know when he was small, the father tried to bring him. He carried the father go to the fishing, and the father killed one big crocodile. I told the father not to kill the crocodile. He refused. I enter from the crocodile life and enter his body. Yes. What have you done to members of his family and his ministry? Me? I told him not to pray. If he pray, why? He pray five hours, six hours. He pray to deliver people. If I give him one minute chance, he do everything he want to do. You said you told him not to pray. What does prayer do to you in your demonic kingdom? We don't need fire. Even as you are. Don't near me too much. Why? Yes. Why? You know that the fire you are carrying is too much. Do you like the word of God? And do you like the name Jesus? When I come inside him, I told him not to do that. Ah. When I'm out, if I just go to the market with people, you will call fire, you will call everything. When I come, I stay outside. And when I enter him, I will not let him go. Even two days, when I came inside this town, I showed him my body. I told him, let us make that thing husband and wife used to do. From nowhere, somebody come. I said, no, I've already removed everything. Do you know where you are now? This is Synagogue Church of All Nations, where Jesus reigns. This is the house of prayer. Right now, now if you tell me to go, what of the ancestral idols that is also worrying him? Will you also tell them to go? You and them cannot go beyond the word of God. So there is no hiding place. In the mouth of Jesus Christ. So there is a revelation of this man, of spirits ancestral and idols, of the ancient past. We have a notion of the Holy Spirit in our system. Without agreement, I have protected him. He has not paid me anything. Now we are telling him to go. Right now, get out. Come out of this body. Be free. Thank you, Lord, for his deliverance. Never again enter him in Jesus' name. Amen. Rise up, sir. Okay. How are you, sir? I'm very, very okay. Who is this young man to you? This one? They're this my children. Huh? They are all my children. Who is this boy to you? It's my son. What about this? She's my daughter. What about this one? It's my son. Who is this woman to you? She's my wife. Speak louder. She's my wife. Do you know her? She's my wife. Good. I come with her. Good. You say that you are a demon in this body. I'm a pastor. I deliver people. I pray for people. I heal people. And yes. you said you hate prayer and the name Jesus and also the word of God. Who is Jesus to you now? He's my savior. He's my deliverer. He's my everything. And you say that you have destroyed yourself. Destroy myself. I love myself. That demon has been cast out by Jesus. Praise the Lord. So today you are set Thank free. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank
My names are Deacon Favor Aaron. I'm an elder in the Church of Royal City of Grace International in Portacot River State. I have been in the ministry for about six years, and I, I love God, and I believe God also loves me. This is my family, this is my lovely wife, and my children. Yeah, it all started uh, 2006, when I formally married to my wife. Shortly after that, things went upside down. Did you know that you have this demon? I, I didn't know. Nobody tells me. Okay. What of the accident, your vision, in your dream? What are the experiences you are having? Tell us. My experiences, I eat in the dream. I fornicate. I also see a lot of uh, dead people and a spiritual wife. In fact, sometimes she used to appear to me, even if I'm driving. In fact, in the water, each time I dream, I dive inside the water, I play with women, making love. When I will get up, my body will be wet, my tongue will be caught. Can I ask you a question? Did your wife know this? Uh, she did not know, but at the time... Wait, wait. Did your wife know this? No. She did not know. I was even accusing her that she's the cause of my downfall. You were accusing your wife? Yes, sir. That is a witch. She's a witch, yes. Where that's when you got here. You say he was even accused the wife that is the cause of the trouble he has. But on getting here. In fact, I, I was accusing her as she's a witch because since I met her, I started observing downfall. And when we had to come, in fact the hardship was too much. We are begging and all the rest. So when we had to come, we went and borrowed money because she was saying that we should come and confirm. Your wife said you people should come to Slango to confirm who is which. Yes, sir. And I said I was going to video her. I'm going to tape her. I, bought on, I went and bought a phone, a highly powered technical phone to video her or to tape her or to snap her. You carry the video and, and the answer so that to video her when she's confessing, have you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Okay, you first of all push her forward. I, 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 I thought that uh, when the wise man will touch her, she will start to manifest and confess, so that by that time I will video and tape her. Uh -huh. What happened? Uh, but uh, when the prayer was on, I could not know myself, and uh, she was already telling me that this is what happened and uh, all the rest. From the house, as we are coming, I told her that I'm going to video you, I'm going to tape you, in fact, I was suspecting her greatly that she's the witch, she's the brain behind my downfall. I have all what I had before I married her. I have sold all of them. Even as rent, we could not pay. So I said, today when we go and confirm, you, in fact, I will push her out. So when we came in, the wise men came around and uh, all of a sudden I was cut off. I did not know myself. And later she was telling me that uh, this is what manifested, that I, I talk so many things of... Uh... When you people enter, because you came here to record her, so that when she's confessing, did you push her forward to be first passing through? I did not even know when they came in. I, I did not even know. Okay, what are the things you thought your wife was responsible for in the past before you were delivered? Whenever we're in the house, sometimes I suddenly I will, when I even I see her, I will, she will be smelling my nose, and that uh, sometimes I, I, I could not eat her food. Uh, things was upside down. So I, I, I look at her as somebody that is causing it because uh, listen, everything we listen, sold. You, you know you are delivered. It should open up. God has set you free. You know the places you have went to for prayer. And you know what they say about her. So you know the places you went to, you did not tell your wife. But you are using that as a parable. Each time you see your wife, you say you are a wish. As a result of the vision given to you somewhere. Sometime I went to other churches and uh, they used to tell me, that 
See, they were even saying that it is my wife that is responsible of this. Clap for, also Jesus tell Christ. Clap for Jesus Christ. Just say. I used to call her witch because sometimes I'm, I don't have affection with her. In fact, I, whenever I, in fact, even if I see her, I went to other churches. They keep telling me that the woman in the house with you, she's responsible of this problem. Go and tell her that she should lose you. She has tied you. She's causing you to be, be a beggar. And when I come, I will tell her that you are the cause. You, I don't have affection with you. Go out. In fact, I will be beating her. I will be beating her. I, will, I, I, I don't even... In fact, my children, I removed them from the school they were attending. That I said they must have eaten winch. That is why we could not have anything to eat in the house. So I will be bullying them and dragging them out of the school. We are not fighting the appearance. We are seeing. I told you. If we are not armed for battle, we will fight the wrong battle. <laughs> Assume this woman was the one who responsible, he will carry that video to the family. On getting here, he was the one to be camera. <laughs> you were beating her, disgracing her. Can your wife begin to beat you down? God should forgive me. Now. Can you see the reason why the Bible says it is not the physical appearance that is our enemy? We are not fighting the physical appearance that we are seeing. I said God should forgive me. God should forgive me. And let there be, let, let, let there be peace in the house. I need peace. I need love. I need oneness. Can, and, you, can you give a hug to your wife? Devant la réconciliation de ce couple, l'esprit chien voulait détruire son mariage, détruire sa carrière en tant que diacre et ancien de l'église. I want to join your family and I want to assure you I'm at your service. I thank God that immediately after the deliverance, I could sleep well without dreaming women again since that Sunday till today. I could not eat in the dream. I could not see any strange woman. I have affection with my wife, I love my wife, I love my children, I could now know that I really I have children. Really, I am married. In fact, I am very happy. I give glory to the Almighty God. I also give thanks to Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua and the man with... Thank you very much. Let's hear from her. Just say well. A man and well. I thank God for everything that God has done for me. I want to tell every woman here, both the viewers out there, that you must know that the man is the head and the woman is the neck. Without the neck, the head cannot stand. I want to tell every woman that don't use what you're seeing out there to judge your marriage. Always be patient. God will answer your prayer. Hmm. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, my name's Adikin Favor Aaron. I'm of River State. The person by my right is my wife and my children. I am a graduate of University of Ibadan, studied history, and later studied postgraduate diploma in industrial relations and personal management. Wonderful, sir. And uh, can you tell us more about what God Almighty has done for you through coming to the Synagogue Church of One Nations? First of all, explaining uh, the, the challenges and problems you were facing before you came here? Yeah, actually, um, when I got married to my wife shortly, things went upside down. Work was no more given to me. Everything that I put on was very tight. And at a point in time, I started fell sick, eating in the dream, seeing all sorts of things, making love in the dreams. I found the world very difficult to me. In fact, to be fair to God, I used all what I have to sow seed, all to get way through. Nothing was up, working effectively. So, a friend of mine started talking of a Mawel TV, and I visited a friend of mine's church houses to see, watch Mawel TV. 
and then I developed my mind that I should come to Mawe TV. I was delivered, and uh, since then I could not, I didn't see those things I used to see in the dream, the sicknesses, everything, malaria things that have been work, work, weighing me down, it's no more there. And I gained myself, I gained my freedom, I gained my liberty. So I'm very, very happy. And I'm having affection with my wife. I can now see my children as my real children. I play with them, I play with everybody. There is peace. So, but now I am free. I do not dream all sorts of evil again. I see myself alive. I'm happy with my family, happy with my children, happy with my wife. Anybody around me, I used to be happy with them that I'm no more in the darkness. I'm now in the light. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And before, sir, as a deacon in, in your church, uh, how did this really affect your, your church work? Yeah, as a deacon in the church, uh, at times I could not be happy to go to the church. I could not even stand firm to read the Bible or to preach the Bible or to teach the Bible. So I, everything about me went to zero. I did not, in fact, I leave the church because at the time I was even suspecting people around me. So I leave that church looking for solution, going to various churches. Going, in fact, everybody, any church I go, they will say, so seed, so seed. I use my television, my 21 inches television, so seed. Use my V-boot car, two, V-boot 230 to so seed. I use everything I have to, even laptop, to sow seed just to look for solution. I could not see any solution. But since I'm here, I see myself live. I'm happy. I'm seeing better things. Better. I have better dreams now. I, I have better dreams. And so I, I even see the word of God. I read the Bible. I understand the Bible now. I discuss the Bible within my family circle in the morning. In the evening, in the afternoon, we now play together. Wow, glory be to God. And before receiving your deliverance here, were you asked to sow any seed? Yeah, I was not uh, asked to sow seed. Everything here is, in fact, is, in fact, I believe that God is here. Because nobody asks me a dime. Nobody asks me nothing. Just very free. Yeah, my advice to people outside there watching my TV and Christians, what you must know is God's time is the best. Hope on God, believe God, develop faith on God. Time. Because the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 down says, To everything there is time and season. Hardship may come, but with your faith and belief, shortly it will just go away with God. God will just push it away and start to give you blessing. So God has solution for every problem. My name is Mrs. Tammy Favor Aaron. The man standing beside me is my lovely husband, Mr. Dickin Favor Marty Aaron. These are my children. God has done so many things in our life. I thank God for what he has done in the life of my husband and my marriage. I thank God because in my marriage I've been facing so many trouble, many problems. My husband has been accusing me that I'm the cause of his problem. I find no peace. I cry every day and night. I don't know what to do until a friend introduced Emmanuel TV to us. We started watching it. From there we developed the faith. When we came to Synagogue Church of All Nation. God has done it all. But I don't know how to thank this God that my husband at the end is not me that is manifesting. It's my husband. God delivered him and my marriage is peace. I just give God all the glory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So since your husband's delivered, what are the changes you've witnessed uh, in his life and in the whole family and how you've been relating together? Since the first day my husband is delivered, yeah, he, in fact, I, I see many changes in, in his life. He takes the children as his own children. He bath them. Before even I will, I will do one or two things, my husband will go and take care of the children. Not unlike before, my husband will, that is, if I even beg him, he will be angry with me. 
will beat me, will shout on me. But today, my husband is the man I knew, the man I knew the first day I met him. That is what I am seeing today. I'm very happy. So love, peace has been completely restored. Yes, in my marriage. And your husband was saying before that he had no affection for you, but what has happened now? Now we are together, we play together, we laugh with our children, we, play, we crack jokes. Even when we are sitting outside, we play together. We just thank God my children are happy to see their father in that mood. Before we came here, we are, feeling, we are facing many challenges. Food to eat, we beg before we eat. The children stop their education because of there is no money. It was the grace of God we are eating. I want to advise every woman out there that no matter what you are seeing in your marriage, that that man that you are seeing there, no matter the situation he is, just believe God and ask God. That because if you leave that man, you go to the next man, you never find peace. So it is better you stay where you are and ask God to change your husband for your marriage to be, to be great and wonderful. Hallelujah. We thank God for this words of advice. And we know, as the Bible says, that we'll begin to succeed with our lives when the pain and problems of others begin to matter to us. And we give glory to God that our Father has been delivered and they can now start a new life in Christ Jesus. And the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, said that on behalf of himself, the Synagogue Church for Nations family and Emmanuel TV partners all over the world, that we should present this family with a cash gift of 300,000 naira, as well as three bags of rice and a copy of the mirror, the word of God to teach you spiritually uh, to grow. So we really thank God Almighty for this wonderful gift in the life of this family. And we know this is just the beginning. So we really thank God Almighty for the wonderful thing He's done in the life of this family. We know this is just the beginning of the blessings God has in store now the deliverance has come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My past is over. This is a new beginning. God has started a new life with me. I did not expect anything, of course, but, but in fact, it's, it's like a dreamland. What God has done for me, I did not even expect that I would go home with this kind of amount. But now that God has given to me, means that God has come to my help fully. Everything about me is changed. It's a really new beginning. Thank you, Jesus. Deacon Favor Aaron and his wife have received a new beginning indeed. With their marriage reconciled and peace restored after deliverance in Jesus' name, they received the sum of 300,000 naira to bless the family and provide for their children. Jesus Christ, their family lawyer, has settled their case. Life. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done in our life. We thank you, we bless your name, we give you glory. Because we are not expecting it, but God has made it for us. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And the man of God gave us a sum of 300,000. We want to thank him on behalf of my family and I. We are thanking him for making us to to go and live again and three bags of rice we thank god for he has taken away tears and pains in our heart my name is Emmanuel Tamnokoro. i am nine years old there is no peace in the home now my father is looking like a dad to us we thank jesus for what he has done for us my name is Jan Janky and joy how old are you four years I thank God for the life that TV Joshua has done for us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Indeed, let's just say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We really rejoice with this family. And as Prophet TV Joshua says, better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. We know you're going to be back here with wonderful testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen.